buy the house and fool around together. And still, I hate to see you go now, especially with the baby on the way. I know. I just want to finish this last tour. I'm sticking to our plans. I want this just as much as you want it. So to get this last tour finished. I guess you're right. What do you think is up with the lady across the street? She keeps looking at us. Well, maybe while I'm gone, we can make friends with her and find out. In the meantime, why don't we give our neighbors a little something to watch? <laughs> Still a little time before I catch the bus. <laughs> you are such a tease. But you can't catch me. <laughs> if he spent less time chasing her around, the fence would be finished by now. <laughs> <laughs> It's like our young soldiers leaving home. It won't be easy for her, will it? Was it for you? No.
Shannon, I sure hope this letter finds you well and our baby growing. I know I just wrote you the other day, but I miss you so much. I always tell the guys about you. Hey, Richard. Barbara, how are you today? Rest, rest your bones, Pete. I see Pete? Sure, thanks. I'll get another glass. So, what are you up to today, Peter? Uh, just get back from placing some uh, new siding for Mrs. Nelson. Thought I'd over to the pockets and tackle a temperamental water trip. You know, the usual. second tour in Afghanistan. She's missing him. Gets letters all the time. Baby on the way. She keeps to herself. Weird. Now, Richard, look when you're young. That's the best time to have a baby. When you're young and have the energy, I think it's wonderful. Uh, babies. I can't relate to babies. All I know about babies is they cry a lot and crack their pants. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, tell you everything I need to know about women. They tell you how to spend your money. None of that's for me. That's because you haven't met the right woman yet. You tell him, sweetie. That's what he needs. A good woman. <laughs> Man, those kids have one hell of a project on their hands with that old house. Hopefully it won't fall down before they get around to fixing it up. Hey, you know, that's the trouble with old houses, especially that one. Old man Jensen uh, did believe in keeping up. But uh, hey, just keeps the jingle in my pocket. <laughs> and, well, you're not going to believe this, but I'll be coming home sooner than expected. Let me explain. We were out on patrol. Ha ha, you're funny. Excuse me, I'll just start looking at regular job. 
about them, but it won't be so tight. Maybe it is free and I can find some part time work. Well, don't forget a babysitter will cost money. I'm not even if I want to leave her with a stranger. Her? Are you sure it's a her? Just that much. Her with your eyes and nose would be so wonderful. Hey, Barbara. Hey. Is Richard around? Oh, he's somewhere. Have a seat. Richard? Pete's here. Richard? <sighs> Richard? Pete's here? Where? Wait, he's here! <laughs> <laughs> he's sitting in my seat. <laughs> <laughs> hey. What's that truck he was doing? Right, he's making almost as much noise as Barbara. <laughs> I don't know where I have the patience for the two of you. Look, look, look! He's the guy who brings the boxes. Her husband seems to know about the boxes. Why do you suppose she doesn't wait? What? Aren't you listening? Richard's wife. She never leaves. Well, maybe she collects boxes. Old people collect things, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> what is in her basket that never blooms? Why does she just watch us? Well, maybe she's growing marijuana. Maybe she's tired of looking at old what's-his-face. <laughs> Honestly, babe, I don't know and I don't really care. You're impossible. <laughs> my patience. I just feel so helpless like this. Don't say that, honey. You're doing great. I see improvement every day. It's just hard, you know, when I think about the guys. I don't think I'm one of the lucky ones, you know? But you are lucky. We are lucky. You and me are together now, and that's more than a lot of military families have. We are very lucky. softer in The problem is just to get through those rocks. I sure do love those mountains, though. And that river. So peaceful. You know, we wouldn't have any of this if we lived in Chicago. Or our little house with our little yard. We'd probably be stuck in an apartment building and not even <coughs> thinking about a garden. You're right, Fred. I wouldn't trade this for anything. Even truckloads of soft dirt. <laughs> Come on, babe, let's have some lunch. And after lunch, why don't we paint the nursery? Besides, this fence project isn't going anywhere. Your job is to make beautiful babies, not dig holes. Ah, shoot. I had something I wanted to tell you. Ah, you'll get as bad as me. You'll think of it eventually. It creeps me out. Should I wave? Just ignore her. It seems as though we're the best of any walks these days. Thank you and your 
wine for that awesome casserole you brought us when Greg came home. It was great. How are things? Oh, not so bad for an old geezer. <laughs> and you and your husband all settled in? Are you kidding me? We'll be attacking boxes until the baby is in preschool. <laughs> but we're doing all right. You know, I was really sorry to see that Greg got wounded. Thank you. He's slowly getting back into the routine of civilian life. He's been promised a job at the auto shop. Oh, that's good to know. My truck needs work. Hard to start in the morning and runs ragged all day. Kind of like me. <laughs> so, uh, did Greg go to school for auto mechanics? Oh, no. He's pretty much self-taught. Always has been really good with cars and trucks. I, uh, think he feels like he's a little out of practice, you know? But he's doing real well with physical therapy. Though being right-handed doesn't help. But he is determined. Hey, Greg's young. He'll be just fine. And uh, having work will be good for him, too. I heard you two moved here from back east. Actually, we both met and got married in Chicago. We were stationed at Fort Worth with Carson and just fell in love with the mountains. So here we are. Mm -hmm. We were lucky enough to find a house in town, even though it does need work. Well, houses always need work. You'll get into your routines, and before you know it, you'll be looking at Medicare supplements. <laughs> Hard to believe for you young people, but the years just fly by. They really do. Well, while they're flying by, we'll be spending our time down at the river. That seems to be our favorite place and pastime. That is, until the baby comes, and then I'm sure we'll have new favorites and new routines. Well, having met a baby yet didn't change mom and dad's routines. My advice to you is, enjoy the peace and quiet while you can. <laughs> we need to have you and your wife over with these days, after we get caught up. No, oh, Barbara and I would love that. Shannon, what's going on here? Oh, Pete, I think you've got it wrong. I just wanted some holes dug. Anyway, this is not a good time. I'll catch up with you tomorrow and explain. 
Oh, Sharon, come look at this. Oh, great. Neither one of them misses a trick. I'm sure he's going to come over here and tell us that they watched Pete work on the fence all afternoon. What are you talking about? Who's Pete? Sharon, do you know what's going on here? So, neighbor, is this how you would have done it? How I would have done what? Did you do this, Richard? Sure did. Me and Pete. No charge. Why? After everything you've done for us, Greg, what's the least we can do for you? Right. We sure do appreciate the sacrifices that you and your buddies have made for all of us. I've been there myself, Vietnam. I was drafted when I was about your age. Mm -hmm. Lost a lot of buddies over in Iraq. I lost a few in Nam. Man, that war really messed me up. Still got the shrapnel in my leg, proof. I don't know what to say. <laughs> no need to say anything, Greg. Except now, you gotta decide on a color. Just don't make it green.
watch over you. Say, I hear you're having some trouble with your truck. Yeah. Why don't we take a look under the hood? Oh, that'd be great. Uh, you know, that reminds me, I've got a railing to repair. Oh, wait, not before we all have some mint. I grow my own mint tree. Mint! <laughs> <laughs>